Hey everyone. Well, just got home and uh, it's bloody warm. I got Jasper in the back there. Say hi Jasper. Oh, big, big yawn. He's been sleeping in the back there. Just been out to Bunnings. Um, I've got another project today. Something I'm going to make. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is yet. I'll show you how I'm making it. See if you can guess what it is. And uh, you'll probably guess before we get to the end or I'll end up telling you. But uh, you know, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And uh, I got all the parts. Whoop, just knock something over. I got all the parts down on the seat there. Some rivets, some washers, some chain. And way in the back of the car, I got another part there. I'll show you in a minute. Also, guys, how do you like me... Uh, patch collection up there, Shad Donahue, Snatch, Western Australia Camping Adventures, Horizon Touring, um, thanks to uh, Dave from Horizon Touring for those, absolutely fantastic, bit of stuff for Mark over in Canada, the old uh, Bigfoot, Canadian flag, Shad Donahue again, he's got another one there, handcrafted by Terry G, make it yourself, that's what I'm going to be doing today, so making it myself, Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives, Saw Adventure, Gidgey the Gorilla, Mr. Buckaroony, Wild Touring, Out There Touring, um, F-Tech, if you um, watch Ty Fendwick, you'll know who that is, Nastime Adventures, Mudux, Swell Runner, that's uh, Swell Runner, he's a YouTuber I watch, uh, he hasn't been doing a lot of videos lately, he mainly does vlogs now, another Wild Touring, Gidgey Gorilla, and all the legends for charity patches. If you want some of these, don't forget to buy them, they're absolutely fantastic, all the profits are going to charity. So just get on there, buy some, if you've got some loose change, cup of coffee stuff, get on to uh, SMG, order them, or if you want to order it through me, just send me a message and I will send one out to you and uh, just I'll get your address and we'll send one out to you. But uh, that's my collection there. Too hot in the car, I'm going to get a cold drink out of my fridge here, how cool is this? I'm going to do a video on this fridge here. It's good having cold drinks in a fridge right beside you there. Cheers everyone. Okay everyone, welcome back. Well, I'm in the shed. I've got the FJ parked up as close as I can to being inside the shed. So I've got a bit of shade over that because it's something that I'm gonna be doing for the FJ. And uh, like I said before, I've been out to Bunnings, bought a few little things, bought this little bit of chain, bought some pop rivets, some washers, and then this thing here. Went out to BCF, picked this up, had a look around. When I make stuff, I have all these ideas and uh, what I do is I normally go out to Bunnings or BCF and I scout around the aisles. Not really, I have an idea in my head what I wanna do. I'm always been pretty handy at coming up with things on the fly, but uh, I walk around, I look at stuff and uh, I see something and I go, I can make something out of that. Now this was $30 or 28 bucks, I think it might've been. And uh, it's a little uh, Wanderer, not Rob the Wanderer. Rob the Wanderer stole his name off this mob. And uh, so get him for breach of copyright Wanderer. Um, <laughs> and I seen this little table out there. It's got two little clips on the top here and uh, you pull her apart, goes right open like that, and uh, got these nifty little lockable legs. It's very light, it looks pretty strong, and uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to destroy it now, because I don't want the legs on it. So that is going to be my first job, is removing all these legs. So let's hope this works. I'll try and remove them in a way that uh, if it doesn't work, I can put them back on again. But uh, my first job will be removing the legs off this table. Cheers everyone. See if you can guess what I'm doing. Too late to go back now. That is one done. That didn't take Lou too long. 
I didn't record any of that, just thought I'd show you the last little bit, but uh, one leg gone. Can anyone guess what I'm doing yet? Where I may be using this? What will I be using it for? That is the question. You'll have to stay tuned right to the very end so that you can find out. But I suppose you could fast forward right to the end and have a look and then not watch the rest. But what's the fun in that? Jeez, everyone. I'll get rid of all the uh, bits and pieces. Should I keep this? Do you reckon I will ever use that for something? I'm a bit of a hoarder with stuff like this. I always keep stuff like this because I never know when I might use it. Does anyone else sort of have random bits of crap in their shed that just fills it up and you think to yourself, why do you keep that? I do. Okay, Doc, let's get the last one off. Get into it. First one didn't take too long. Oh well, I've got them all off. There you go there, there's my table. Good as new again. But, except now, it has no legs. Maybe I can take it back and get a warranty claim if it does, this doesn't work, eh? But uh, that's the first part done to my little project. So, now, get on to the next part, which will be using the chains and the rivets for this. Who knows? Hopefully it works. I reckon my holes that I've got there might just work with how I want to connect this. So let's get it done. Cheers. Okay, everyone, I'm up to the next part. I've got my chain here. Now I had to spread the end apart, the little link apart a little bit wider because I want to be able to put the rivet through the link like that. Now what I've also done, I bought a packet of little washers. I think they're M4 or something, um, stainless steel washers. I'll put one washer on the end of the rivet there to make the flange a little bit wider. I'm gonna stick the chain through the rivet like that. Then this will go through one of those holes there where I pulled the legs out. Then on the other inside edge, I'll put the other rivet and secure it on there with the riveter. I'm gonna do that now. Can anyone guess what I'm doing? Have you guessed yet? Or have you fast forwarded to the end to see what I've done? Cheers everyone. Okay, I've got that one on there. You can see the rivet on the outside there. There it is on the inside. There's my chain secured. Now I've just got to put one down the bottom here. You should be able to nearly guess what I'm doing now. So I reckon it's gonna work out pretty good. I'm going to get the rest done now, then I'll show you what it all looks like when it's up. Cheers everyone. I'm just interrupting this little video because I had to go let this one out because it wanted to have a wee. This is Jasper. If you haven't met Jasper, you all know Winnie. They had to come out and see what I was doing. Jasper is getting on great with Winnie. Um, I'll put the new logo that I'm, well it's not the new logo. Don't get me wrong, I have got a new updated logo that I'm gonna put up for Saw Adventures, but I've also got another one, just a one-off thing. A few people have come out and said, oh, why don't you change it to Jaws Adventures? I don't wanna change the this logo, like my name again, the actual name, like as in Saw Adventures. I know it's Steve and Annie and Winnie, but uh, if you put a J in there, it's Jaws, Jasper, Annie, Winnie and Stephen. So I've come up with a one-off little uh, logo that I'm gonna release, maybe with some stubby cooler stickers, stuff like that. And, uh, but then I'll still have the Saw Adventures one, which will be exactly the same name on my YouTube channel. I don't wanna change any of that. I've already changed it from FJ Camping and Touring. It's gonna to remain Saw Adventures, but we now have a little J, a Jasper. So he's uh, seven weeks old today, Winnie's bit over two, so they're gonna be good friends and uh, they'll join us on all our adventures, we'll tell you all about it, but they had to come out and see what I was doing. So I'm gonna put them back and get back into it. Cheers everyone, see ya. Well, welcome back everyone. Sorry, it didn't work. No, only joking, it did work. 
And uh, the reason I haven't got it in my hand here now because I've got it where I want to put it. And uh, now it's time to reveal what I made, how I've made it. Well, you've seen how I made it. It was pretty simple. It was just a matter of drilling those legs off that little uh, wanderer table and uh, putting the chain on with the rivets. It was only four rivets, two bits of chain, and really not a lot of time. It was probably only, if I wasn't recording, I reckon probably half an hour and I would have had it all done. And then it was just a matter of attaching it where I want to put it. There's a couple other steps in between, but I'll reveal where it is now. You may have already guessed. You may have skipped to the end and watched it, but uh, let's open up the back of the FJ. Yes, it's gone in the FJ. It's an upgrade to the FJ. And here it is here, hanging up on the FJ. I've even got stickers on it and everything. You're a little bit far away there. Let's come over a bit closer, eh? Let's see if I can get it in frame. Get me in frame on the edge here. So I wanted to get a little drop down table that I could use, say we're traveling and uh, we want to pull up on the side of the road, get the jet boil out, make ourselves a cup, or if we happen to be free camping or something like that, or you pull up for the day and uh, you've been out and you want to make yourself a uh, cuppa. Since I've um, pulled all the drawers and everything out of the back of the FJ to lighten the load a little bit, um, I used to have a little table that I pulled out in the back there. I don't know whether I've got a photo of it. If I have, I'll stick it up on the screen there if I can find one. But uh, I had a look online and uh, had a look at a few different products online that um, were mainstream products. Uh, they ranged anywhere from $60 up to $260 and uh, I thought I'll have a go at making myself. And I'll tell you what, when I walked into BCF and I was walking around for about 15 minutes and I seen this little table, I thought, holy moly, that is going to do exactly what I want. So you might, um, I'll give you a little bit of a closer look here now. We'll pull the camera out. So. Here's the little table here. I've got a few stickers on Cooktown. I've had that sitting in the glove box in my car for ages. That was when we went to the Mr. Buckaroonie tag along tour up to Cooktown. And uh, that was a sticker I purchased. So that's where it's going. I've had this one sitting inside for ages. Old Phil's camping reviews. Um, he got this, he made this big one up for me. And uh, I said, I've got to find somewhere to put it. Goes perfectly there. I've got Saw Adventures on there. Legends for Charity sticker. You can purchase those on SMG and I've got Muddux Touring Australia. I've got his on that corner there. So you can see where I've attached it here. Um, sits up there perfect. This table weighs bugger all. It'll hold, it said on the um, label that it would hold 10 kilos. So fairly strong. It's all aluminium. And the good thing about it, I like it, it's um, got these little clips on here. And you've got the handle on here. Pull the handle down. And look at that, a little bit of foam, so I'll have to glue that down yet. Um, but I put a little bit of foam in here, so I didn't glue it down yet because I wanted to show you. So there's the um, inside of the table there, there's my little um, rivet going through my chain, one up the top there, and uh, I'll glue that in there so it sits in there. So it sits in there nice. I, glue, I have glued the carpet on the back, but what I did was, I um, screwed it through the back here into this um, plastic on the back of the car here and I put some um, really large like washers on there, they're probably the size of a 20 cent piece um, so that they wouldn't pull through and uh, that's it. This is carpet so you can stick patches up there. I've got some uh, crazy dog uh, carpet grabbers in the back of the car there. I might even, um, I just pulled that bit off velcro tape thing off that I had stuck on the back of the car there. Um, that's how good those things. I might be able to stick stuff like this up there if we're, you know, grab stuff out if I've got the table down if we're camping. But uh, this will be great for sitting stuff. Making a cuppa, like if you're traveling you can put your cup of coffee on there, you can sit down on this little uh, deck here Sit here with your cuppa and look out into my untidy shed. But uh, what do you reckon, guys? Did you guess what it was when I was building it? Um, it was just an idea I had in my head. 
and uh, I thought I'd have a go at making it. I think it's turned out bloody awesome. Um, for this little spot here on the back of the FJ, absolutely fantastic. You could get a couple of them if you had a bigger door, put one on the other side if you wanted two tables. But instead of paying 65 to $265 in between that price range, this cost me about $42. So I had the carpet, I had this bit of rubber sitting in the shed. Um, the chain and all that was bugger all. So the little table was great. I don't have to take it back and get a warranty claim on it now. But uh, like this bloke here says, Handcrafted by Terry G, that's um, some of his patches there. Get on to Handcrafted by Terry G if you want to buy some of his patches. They're absolutely fantastic little patches. Also, Legends for Charity, My One Saw Adventures. You can get them off me or you can get them off Brett from SMG and uh, purchase that. Purchase me shirts as well. I will have, like I said at the start there, I'm going to come out with some uh, specialised merch for uh, young Jasper. Jaws Adventures, but uh, you know, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, um, hit the like, hit the subscribe. It does really help me channel out, guys. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you've got any questions or comments, you want to know any more about it, um, if there's something I've left out, it, it was really easy to do, guys. All I needed was a drill, a pop rivet gun. Um, I used a little square just to make sure that was at the right angle and a little bit of a level. So that's about it. Like always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, look after each other, and I'll see you on the next one. Isn't that how it goes, Terry? Make it yourself. Cheers, everyone. See yous. Bye. I'm going to go find Jasper.